this video we're doing part b of the production budget 2019 we're just finishing off um parts d e and the theory so in this they want you to calculate the budget to close and stop there's a new thing that they've been asking um so when you're trying to work out the value of clothes and stock remember you have two products that you're pricing you've dark and light so that's why they're there and you're going to figure out how much material um one unit okay so you're doing this for one unit so if you look at the question um dark needs five kilograms of this and it costs three euro so that's 15 euro for material one light uses seven kilograms of material one and it costs three euro so the material one for light will cost 21 euro for one unit and for dark will cost 15 euro material two i use six kilograms and material two is costing six euro so that's 36 and for light i need four kilograms and still costing six euro which is 24 euro labor the labor uh i'm going to use six hours for working on one unit at 16 which would be 60 uh, 96 and for light i'm going to work eight hours at 16 euro and that's going to cost me 128 euro variable overhead again are based on the labor hours six hours but the variable overhead rate is 550 so that gives me 33 euro and in light we need to work on it sorry i can just take from here eight hours by 550 so that gives me 44 euro the biggest difficulty with this part of the question is calculating your fixed overheads now your fixed overheads they give you the total figure and they say it's 681 630. i can't put that there i can't put it there because i need to know how much of that fixed overhead for the whole year is responsible for one unit of dark and one unit of light so i need something to give me a fixed overhead per unit so what we're going to use is we're going to use it on the labour hours used by dark and light for the production process. Now, the labour hours, how many units of dark were you going to make? You were going to make uh, 12,665 units. Now this came, figure came from my production budget. So that's how many units I need to make of dark. And the amount of labour hours that I spent on this is six hours. Plus, I want to divide by the number of hours I'm going to work on light. And light is 7,542. And again, that figure came from the production budget. Multiply by the labour hours is eight hours. So your fixed overheads, we're going to divide them by all the labour hours of all the units that we make. And we get that it's five euro per unit of labour hours. So for fixed overheads, the labour hours are six, six hours and fixed overheads are five euro per labour hour. Again, here, you're going to work on it for eight hours and it's five euro, which is 40. And that gives me my total uh, closing stock. So this will be 210 per unit, okay? And this is 257. And again, it's per unit. So that's the value of your closing stock per unit. Uh, for part D, they're going to give you one mark for each of these and two marks for working this out. So each of these are one. Do you have ones there for D as well? Okay. So that's 10, 2 and 12. The only thing that was difficult here is working out your fixed overheads and you're going to have to use that formula. And just remember this figure here and this figure here comes from your production budget. Okay, then you're going to do uh, your budgeted trading account. You're going to do how much you expect to sell. Now remember, I told you to highlight this at the start. So you're expecting to sell 12,600 of dark and you're going to sell them hopefully at 250. Plus you expect to sell um, 7,500 of light and you expect to take in 300 euro for each one of those. 
So your expected sales is 5,400,000. Your open stock, now remember, just actually, I'm going to put this up here. Here, we're talking about finished goods. Okay, so if you're trading them, they obviously have to be finished goods. Uh, your open stock is 650, and your open stock costs 180 of dark and light. Your open stock is 420 by 240. Now remember, this here came from a table. I think it was, let me tell you which table it was. That was your second table in the question. Okay, 217800. This here is the answer from your manufacturing account. So that's 4,591,694. And your closing stock. Again, we worked out the cost of your closing stock. Uh, you know the units of your closing stock because you were told that your closing stock would go up by 10%. So 10% onto that is 715 by the cost is 210 plus 10% onto that is 462 multiply by 257. That's 268884. Okay, so that gives you 4 million, sorry, 540. And that will give you a gross profit of 859,390. It's actually a really nice question in the exam when it comes up straight. Uh, there's not a lot of complications in it. So the way they're marking this, two, two. This only gets one because you've already got marks for that figure. And it's a figure that's just been transferred. Two and two. So two, four. Six, eight, nine in total for this part. Then the last part, it's six marks. Just make sure that you get your marks first. It says um, three reasons why you would do uh, product costing uh, or the production budget. No, it wasn't that, sorry. Three reasons for product costing, sorry. So uh, this is your production budget, but it's just checking here that people that opted to do question nine actually studied question eight as well. So product costing, why do you do it? Um, you need your selling price for tendering. All costings or budgeting, we do it to control our costs, compare actual against budgeted. All of them you can write helps planning and decision making and to find the value of closing stock to calculate profit. Now there's six marks, but it just for your for your own benefit to understand what I'm doing here. It's two, four, six, and there's a two here that I put square brackets around it. Square brackets around it means when you're marking, that answer is perfect. You've already given me enough to get full marks, so I'm not including that. It is right, but I don't need to include it in the marks. Okay.